This is a powerful browser-based AI tool built by architects for architects. It offers faster ideas, smoother workflows, and visuals that speak for themselves. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are diving into Airy Lab, an AI-powered platform created especially for architects and urban designers by architects themselves. Founded by architects like Xavier Travert, Airy Lab offers an AI-generated visual pipeline from concepts to high-resolution images and animation all inside the browser. With tools like Inspire, Render, in paint, smart edit and more, it's designed to streamline the architectural workflow. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more amazing content like this. I'm Salman, an architect and illustrator, so let's get started. To get started, head over to any lab from the link in the description. When you sign up, this platform offers unlimited image generations for 48 hours and also three video credits. We have a list of powerful tools and each of them are not just exciting but offer accurate solutions for designers. We've been receiving comments about data security on the channel and this is exactly where this tool stands up. In the pro and enterprise subscription plans, it offers enterprise-grade security and full ownership and zero restrictions. Choose Try Airy Tools and you can use your Google account to log in. This will automatically create a new project and you can get started with the free account. Choose MySpace and you can see that all your creations are neatly organized in multiple project folders. The canvas has different tools and features to choose from and all of these are neatly organized. The toolbar on top has the workshop option. The gallery is where all the previous images that we created are organized. We can sort them based on the images, favorites, videos or components. The tutorial and FAQ gives you a detailed walkthrough on how to use all of these tools in Lab. From the next tool, we can download plugins for Rhino, SketchUp or Revit and install them to seamlessly integrate into the modeling. You can join the Airy Community Discord server from this option. The workspace brings you back into the canvas. The Airy Agent is an AI-powered chatbot that interprets your design intent through sketches, text or style references and instantly generates concepts suggesting edits or customized visuals to match your goals. You can refer Airy Lab to your friends and once they sign up, you and your friend both will receive 30 free image credits on the platform. We'll talk about the subscription plan at the later part of this video. You can switch between languages and take a look at your account details in this drop-down. On the left, we have four different tools in the style toolbox. The prompt is used to describe the image output. The template has pre-designed settings in four different categories, including architecture, interior, landscape, and urban design. And inside these subcategories, we have hundreds of pre-made templates to choose from based on our design. There is said to be more than 2000 templates in this option. We can adjust the settings here. On the next tab, we can add images to use it as a style reference. Custom trained private models can be added here. On the right is the tool set, and this has five different tools to work with. Let's take a look at each of them in detail. Let's say we have a reference image to get started and all we have to do is to just drag the reference image and add it into the prompt box. This will automatically generate prompt to describe the image that we just added and it also chooses the best suited template from hundreds of templates in the library. But we can always customize and choose the ones that we prefer. In this case, I want to use this reference image for a museum design. So let's choose that inside the cultural and civic template. I picked the organic style, the graphic style can be rendering camera in general and the atmosphere can be foggy. Adjusting the slider on the style reference determines how much you want the image style to impact the output. On the right, we have options to adjust the image output. We can choose between the Airy Lab model and we now have a new option to use the Mid Journey model. We can adjust the orientation, image ratio as we prefer and also adjust the image resolution. Once done, click generate to create your output. We have the results and the output is stunning. It has a great sense of materiality, textures and atmosphere. The platform has taken the fluid and organic quality of the style image and created this rustic elevation design. Even with minimal input, the render delivers studio-grade visual quality suitable for conceptual presentations, design development and early client reviews. Let me show you another instance where you might not have a reference image to add into the prompt. In this case, we can describe the prompt using very basic keywords and then choose the Smart Guide option. This option will automatically expand our prompt, adding more details and keywords for a better output. This can be really ideal for someone who's getting started with AI and still learning to use prompts. For this example, let's use the Midjourney model. 
and this will give us three options to use just like the Midjourney website. In case you want to know about these three tools specifically, we made a detailed video on using Midjourney on the channel. Make sure to check it out. Let's upload the reference image in the image prompt and since this is a Midjourney model, we'll be able to generate four images. Click generate and now we can see that these outputs have more of a stylized and artistic quality. These might or might not be architecturally accurate but they fall into the artistic and conceptual quality. Render is the second tool on the toolset. We can add a base image inside this box to start our rendering. The base image could be sketches or screenshots of interiors or exteriors. Let's add a conceptual sketch of a plaza. Control level is how much you want the image to impact the output. Let's select the landscape template and inside social spaces, we have urban plaza. Let's pick a template from that and let's also add the sketch inside the prompt box to generate our prompt. Adjust the graphic settings camera and atmosphere and hit generate. Here's the result and the output is quite stunning for the concept sketch that we added. It has a great level of prompt understanding and the landscapes especially look extremely detailed. We can follow the same technique for rendering and exterior elevation. Let's take a screenshot of a SketchUp model, add it into the base image as well as the prompt box. Pick an architectural template of a villa adjust the graphic style and in this case let's turn off the style reference the control level can be in max for better accuracy here's the rendered output of the image the platform has preserved most of the details and there's a great work in the textures of the image the lighting and illumination in the image are of great quality and the overall atmosphere and color grading are on point we can try the same with a screenshot of an interior model as well and the results definitely did not disappoint The edit tool is the third option in the toolset and inside this we have the smart edit, in paint, control in paint and eraser. The smart edit is packed with over 15 tools especially curated for the architectural design workflow. We have seen multiple AI platforms that has each of these tools individually but with Airy Lab we have all these tools under one single platform. We'll take a look at some of the most highlighted features in the smart edit. Using these tools is extremely easy. Just select the tool you want change a keyword as per your design and click generate to have your output. It's that simple. Changing the viewpoint can be a very useful tool. Using this tool, we can change an eye level perspective of any image into an aerial view. We have this tool called convert to rendering and this is specifically used for rendering screenshots from model. Upon trying this, I have come to notice that this tool seems to be a lot better in retaining the textures of the image than the rendering tool we saw previously. I've added an interior view of a SketchUp model, adjusted the prompts to add lighting and illumination, and here's the result. As you can see, this has a greater accuracy in terms of the materials and textures. Extract object is another interesting and unique tool in Airy Lab. Let's upload an interior image and ask to extract the chandelier in the image. The result was extremely surprising and the quality was really good. Make sure to check out all the other tools in Smart Edit and it'll be worth a try. Now let's move on to the InPaint tool. As the name suggests, we can make selection of specific areas and mask over them using the InPaint tool. We can then add specific prompts to regenerate inside the specific marked area. Let's make a selection of the plants in the foreground and we have multiple selection tools like the last magic wand and more. Once selected, we can use the prompt box to describe what we want to change and then use the smart guide to expand the prompt. Here's the result and the platform has seamlessly integrated the specific areas that were masked. We also have the option to insert an object by creating a mask. We can insert an object from the local drive or we can also choose from the library. Let's make a selection of where we want to add the human figure. Click generate and you can see that the human figure has been seamlessly integrated into our base image. The next tool is control in paint and here you can add a base control image which determines the specific areas to be modified. For example, take a look at this rendered image based from a screenshot of a SketchUp model and I've created this using the render tool. The atmosphere, lighting and the materials look great but there are a few discrepancies in the form of the building elevation. This is especially visible on the right side of the structure. We can fix this without altering the overall image using the InPaint tool. Choose this option on the top right called Send to Edit Toolset. This will send the image to the Control InPaint tool. Upload your base image of the screenshot on the bottom, click Edit Mask and you can see both the images overlaid on top of each other. 
Let's select the building structure using the lasso tool. We have multiple selection options to use and once done, click confirm. Now you can see that the structure is updated in the shape control image. Change the control level to maximum and turn on preserve materials. The image resolution can be in 4 megapixels. Click generate and now we have the results. We can see that the control in paint tool has used the structure of the screenshot and regenerated the building structure following the outlines. This has modified the panels of the glass structure and it also follows the cutouts on the building elevations perfectly. Using this control in paint tool, we can create precise renders and modify certain elements with ease. Here's another way to use the control in paint tool. Upload the same render in the base image and now let's upload a PNG of a tree. Using the move and resize tool, we can reposition the tree. Use the magic wand tool to make a selection of the tree and once we mark the tree, we can select a template from the landscape elements, adjust the control level and materials and click generate. The control in paint tool has seamlessly added the tree in the image without disturbing any of the other elements in the image. This has also altered the tree to maintain the autumn weather. And finally, we have the standard eraser tool which can be used to remove objects in an image. The post-production tool has three features to try. We have the extend tool, HD upscaling, and the Atmosphere Swift. Using the Extend tool, we can generate areas either vertically or horizontally in any image. We can use these sliders to determine the position. Here's the before and after. The HD Upscale has three levels of enhancements. The standard and enhance upscales an image without changing the details, whereas the Creative Boost upscales the image with a bit of AI adjustment. The Atmosphere Swift completely alters the mood and environment of an image and this can work with both interiors and exteriors. We can choose between different climates and weather. Here's a before and after. The video tool can be used to create animated content from the first frame of any image. Just upload the image, describe the prompt and click generate. Here are some examples of the video tool. The urban option is something very unique to air it up, so let's check it out and see how it works. In the Inspire tool, choose Urban. Inside this, we have District, City Style and Urban Drawing. Each of these templates can be used to create urban scale concepts and renderings. For example, let's choose the High Mountain Zone, add prompts to create a commercial complex, adjust the settings and generate. We have conceptual images that are not just detailed but also seems functional in the design. These can be used in the early stages of design to generate concepts on a larger scale. Inside the city style, we can pick templates based on different cities of the world. Let's pick Barcelona and try creating a housing complex. Here are the results and these are based on the configuration of that city in specific. Here's an example of a high-rise apartment complex in Dubai. Generating AI images specific to a certain area or a city allows architects to understand the urban fabric and the materials of that specific city. With the next tool, we can create functional master plans with Lab. Choose Urban Drawings and select between mid-scale and large-scale. Let's use the same prompt in this case and hit Generate. This has now created architectural master plans with the same rendering template that we used. We finally seem to have an AI platform that not just creates fancy 3D images but also creates functional 2D drawings that can be used as inspiration and concepts. Looking at these master plans on the first glance, they definitely don't seem vague and they definitely seem to be specifically planned and has some hierarchy in the design. We have been trying a lot of AI platforms and this tool is something very unique to the Airy Lab. And finally, this tool can also be used to render CAD drawings of master plans. Just upload the master plan as a JPEG image, add it to the prompt as well, use maximum control level and hit generate. This will give us multiple options of fully rendered master plans and also of great level of accuracy. The pricing of Lab has three different tiers to choose from. We have the club plan, which could be ideal for students and freelancers. The pro and the enterprise plan offer enterprise grade security and full copyright ownership. We have separate add-ons for video generations and if you're watching this, make sure to use the coupon code.
Use the code SALMAN10 to avail 10% off on your subscription. If you're an architect or a designer looking to speed up your creative process without sacrificing creativity, then this tool can be your ideal option. Lab is not just another AI tool, but it totally understands our work. You can start with something very simple like a sketch or a site image, and you can create fully rendered visuals to show to your client in just a few minutes. And because it runs on your browser, it's easy to access anytime. What makes it really stand out is how it gives you full control. Everything you create is yours to use commercially, with no hidden licensing catches in the Pro and the Enterprise plans. On the Club plan, the creations are public and may be used on social media and other creative communities. It's collaborative, secure and built for the way architects actually think and work. So that was it from the walkthrough of Lab. To start using, make sure to sign up from the link in description and you can unlock unlimited free image generations for up to 48 hours. You can also use the coupon code SALMAN10 to earn 10% off on your subscriptions. Make sure to like and subscribe so we can create more amazing content like this. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you soon.